This week we're talking about the smallest GPS module ever, adding air print to your Raspberry Pi, the Tesla Proto module, Barbie, and why the heck I'm standing in front of a concrete wall. Hey everyone, welcome to episode nine of Micro News. First things first, gotta tell you, why on earth am I standing in front of a concrete wall? Well, if you didn't know, I filmed this show in my basement. I have ripped this room apart. It was really just an unfinished room that I had a screen up in and some lighting on, but I'm going to finish it. This is gonna be the new recording area for the show. This wall behind me is actually where I will be filming, and so I'm just gonna film here, and you'll see it as it goes up over the next, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to finish it. I'm doing all the work myself. Uh, we're low budget around here. So anyway, that's why I'm standing in front of a concrete wall. You'll hopefully see the progress week after week as we go along. All right, let's take care of a quick shout out. I'd like to give a shout out to Tim Petruski, who had a great chat with me this week on Twitter about uh, all things Tesla. So thanks for that, Tim, and thanks for following. All right, let's hop into the news of the week. First story of the week comes out of Origin GPS, which is an Israeli company who that builds GPS units. And they have built the world's smallest GPS module, fully integrated. This thing is ready to go and measures in at a whopping four by four millimeters. Now, kind of a weird thing to compare it to, but that's about the size of a zero on your credit card, the number in the front of your credit card. So tiny, tiny module. They're looking to make GPS embeddable in all sorts of devices uh, without compromising on performance or power requirements. So nice job, Origin GPS, and look forward to seeing that get into some products. Our next story of the week isn't really a story, it's just a cool project. Christian Cauley created a nice write-up on how to add air print support to your Raspberry Pi. So what that basically allows you to do is take any printer that you can connect to a Raspberry Pi and get printing and add air print support so that you can print things from your iPad, iPhone, or Android device. So nice work, Christian. We'll link up his work down below so you can go over and check it out if you're interested. Okay. Next story of the week comes again out of Technical Machine. We talked a little bit about them last week, but they have created and are creating a proto module. They kind of revealed it a little bit through their Instagram account a few weeks ago by posting this picture of what they have been working on. And so basically, I've talked about this before. What's cool about the Tesla is you can plug things into these ports on the side, plug and play to add functionality. Now they have 14 modules currently that are ready to go out of the box. But what if you need some functionality that's not covered by one of those 14 modules? Well, you could always breadboard. You can hook things up to these ports and breadboard it out. But if you wanted something a little bit more official, they've created these proto modules. Um, I have one right here that you can lay components onto, solder some wires up, and then you can, you know, connect it to your Tesla just like you would anything else. Just like that. I actually made a screen module using the Nokia screen. I'll plug this in. So anyway, you can do stuff like this. Really cool. Uh, they're talking about these being ready around December 12th is what I've been told. So sometime around mid-December. So hopefully just in time for you to snag some of these and maybe make them stocking stuffers for that special nerdy person in your life. So, uh, great job, Technical Machine. Uh, looking forward to playing more with these and seeing what uh, the community comes up with. Okay, the biggest story of the week has got to be Barbie, of all things. So the internet found out this week about a book called Barbie, I Can Be a Computer Engineer. And quite frankly, the internet decided it did not like it. The book is really, really pretty bad. Um, I'll link up some things below, but first of all, the title should have been Barbie, I Can't Even Be a Mediocre IT Person. It has nothing to do with being a computer engineer, and as far as being something, if that means having other people do the work and then you taking all the credit, well then, yes, Barbie can be anything. The book, I'll link up a thing so you can see, the, the book was just terrible. Uh, it had some feminist 
uh, not feminist. It had some sexist things in it. Uh, Barbie can't actually program. She can just draw designs and then the guys have to come in and program for her. So anyway, it was a big mess. And the internet decided to do what the internet does best, which is fix things with a comic twist. And so the hashtag feminist hacker Barbie sprung up this week and just exploded on social media. People started taking the pages of this book and replacing the original words with their own words. And man, lots of crazy funny things ensued. Uh, we'll link up a couple of articles that have some of those, uh, some of the better ones that were created. So, you know, bad, bad book coming from the, I don't know who makes Barbie, what the company name is, but anyway, it's terrible. And that brings us to this week's installment of Tweet of the Week. And it comes from Brent this week, who did his own spin on one of the Barbie pages of the book we just mentioned. And this is what he came up with. Kind of integrating some Internet of Things and embedded electronics humor in there. So really liked it. Congratulations, Brent, for winning Tweet of the Week bragging rights on a no-name show on YouTube. But anyway, we appreciate your humor. And... Uh, I'm pretty sure the Barbie thing will be dead in a week or so, but it was really fun while it lasted. And uh, that does it for this week's episode of Micro News. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Like I said, hopefully you'll see some changes in the background over the next few episodes. No idea how long it's going to take me to finish, but apologize for the crappy background. Hope you can enjoy watching the progress. Really appreciate you guys tuning in. Please join us next week. And I'm not even going to ask you to subscribe this week. No crazy button. Just want to say I appreciate you guys watching and have an awesome week and we'll see you next week. And our tweet this week comes from Brent. I got to make sure that that's his name. I got it written on a piece of paper down here. It is Brent. 